Okay, so YouTube, I'm going to help you out with a little misconception here about what delusions of grandeur is or grandiose, grandiose delusional disorder, uh, subtype of schizophrenia. I don't know much about the bipolar one. I do know a little bit about the manic one because I did experience it, but uh, let's get started. So I suffer with schizophrenia, as you can tell, I'm smoking, so 90% of people with schizophrenia, they smoke. So if I can get started on that smoking, if you're a schizophrenic, because you're going to want a cigarette. Um, basically, back uh, when I was um, starting to go homeless and uh, started to use uh, crystal meth with uh, my mother and uh, whatnot, uh, I started to go a little bit crazy and I started to develop schizophrenia. And I started to get manic because crystal meth elevated my... Uh, my mood and did, did everything for me and uh, you know like uh, it was just it was just nuts like uh, I felt like I was completely on top of the world but really it was it was because I, w I went into episodes of mania every time I got used crystal meth but I was also using heroin and I'd use heroin and crystal meth in the same shot at the same time so you can imagine what that was doing to my brain and my mind it was just pulling it right apart with uh, mixed signals going all over the place and that was uh, also adding to my schizophrenia basically what ended up happening was I ended up going homeless on the streets of Vancouver and the only thing I had was a, uh, was a guitar and a keyboard to uh, play music in the streets to make money and uh, I used that money to just keep using drugs, right? And um, my schizophrenia just kept getting worse and worse and worse and it all started out with this dream that I had. This one dream that uh, basically all the information of mankind it felt like aliens were broadcasting this into my mind. This is what I thought, was aliens were broadcasting this into my mind. Basically, I saw all the symbols of mankind, all the letters and all, all those like, uh, like uh, hieroglyphics or whatever, they all just flashed before my eyes and like it was all black and then the, the letters were white and they all just went like just one after another, just do 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 And fucking, um, uh, they all ended up like, uh, in the end result, turned into the letter I. And that letter I ended up turning into a pillar and then it became many pillars and then it, it, it became many structures and it was showing like the buildings of mankind and like uh, like all the great like structures uh, that we've built and like all the doings that we've done and all that junk, junk like that and it was all because of like our communication and like uh, like uh, like our, our, our progressions forward that we've been making and then it all crunched back down in that letter I but this this time the letter I represented a more of an individual state and it was more like I, I am, I am all that ever existed from the moment that I opened up my eyes for the first time and started to experience this life, I am everything that is out there, like uh, that letter I was basically I am God and uh, that's where the delusions of grandeur came in, where my grandiose started to uh, become like really uh, apparent was that I actually believed that I was God at this point in time and that everything that around was around me would basically like you know how they say that yeah you only use 10 percent of your brain well then the other 90 percent must have been been controlling the rest of what's going around me like all the people that are interacting with me and then it was reinstated that this was like a true like uh, belief after like you know wandering the wandering the streets and going to the shelters getting food and uh you know being a being a street junkie that was uh performing music in the streets to um basically entertain people and make money um after about a couple like months of this going by no not a couple months like maybe about a month or two i had a very extreme experience and that basically i was sitting down on a bench and i watched all the tops of these buildings like uh, all the, the the great tall buildings of vancouver they were, the, all the tops of them were switching places like about halfway down the building it would just switch places with the other buildings and uh, they would all just like zhoo, 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 just seamlessly switch and it was just amazing it was like it was God's voice telling me that uh, the, the buildings of mankind were basically uh, nothing in the kingdom of heaven like it, it was it was just it was just nuts like watching this happen and then the roads would lift up out of the ground and uh, switch places with others and you gotta t keep in mind that I would I'd probably be up uh, 13 days at a time on crystal meth and heroin uh, you know, like shooting up just constantly and, uh, you know, just going nuts on the streets and fucking, uh, you know, like uh, this is at a moment where I found peace or whatever. I thought that I was sober or whatever. 
and I sat down on a bench, and then next thing you know, I see the buildings start switching places, helicopters started flying in, and actually like pulling the buildings up, and it's making them switch places. Then the roads started switching places, and all the people that were walking about were actually interacting with my delusion and my hallucinations. They were all going like, oh my god, look, the road's moving, what do I do? I better wait for the next one. Oh no. They were so animated, and they were so, like, uh, just unreal. Like, uh, they, they, it was like, it's like, you know, it's like God was telling me that, like, you know, you're actually the only person that actually exists, Derek. Like, all these people, they're just fucking, they're just fucking, you know, like, uh, they're, they're cellophane. Like, fucking, they're, they're fucking, uh, they're fucking hollow fucking, uh, you know, like, uh, like, uh, like little robots or like, like little things that we created to fucking keep you entertained while you're fucking, you know, fucking basically being the human version of God on the fucking, on the fucking, uh, like, uh, in, in reality or whatever. And it was just, amazing to see that this is happening to me and the, and then uh, basically uh, in the thick of it all when all this stuff was going down and like you know like it just amazing things were happening like uh, like uh, like big explosions of color and fucking like uh, lights coming out all of, all out of the place and fucking the city was just alive uh, I ran to a street that was completely empty no cars on it no people on it and there's a bike laying in the middle of the street. I'd always find bikes for some odd reason. At the end of my delusions, I'd always find a bike to and it'd take me to safety where the delusion would stop. And uh, I'd end up going and selling the bike in the downtown east side for fucking some dirt cheap price and fucking getting more meth and heroin. But um, uh, like uh, I like through this period of time, I'd walk down the street and uh, the people, the the conversations they would coincide with my thoughts. Like, uh, I would think like, uh, hmm, like, uh, I feel like hot dogs today. And then people, like, some people would walk by and be like, hot dogs are a great idea. I would like some hot dogs too. Like, uh, that's just an example. That didn't actually happen. But, like, that's an example of, like, what, what, what I mean by coinciding with my thoughts. And then uh, they, they'd also, the people, like, walking by me on the street, they'd be talking about me. Or they'd be talking, like, mocking me or, like, doing, like, talking about something that has to do with me or like uh, conspiring against me and I, I like when I walked down the street it would make it really fucking hard to do so like fucking like when you're on Granville Street in Vancouver fucking uh, there's a whole bunch of people about it's pretty fucking nuts like when, when you hear all these conversations and your your mind is twisting it into something else especially when the, the, the grandiose would kick in and uh, basically people they, they would walk by and they, they'd basically be a part of a sentence and then the next group of people walking by would be another part of a sentence. And uh, the first people would be like, you are. And then the next people would be, are the son of God. And the next people would be like, uh, and your mission is to uh, find out this, da-da-da, again, do this, da-da-da. And uh, I would uh, follow these missions. And uh, the weird thing about it was that every single time I did these little missions or whatever, I would end up finding treasure, like, uh, like some form of like... Uh, valuable good or like something like I would find drugs I'd find money I'd find uh, anything that would uh, be of value to me at that point in time to uh, like um, you know like make it make a little bit of like a, of an earning out of it and um, like uh, I found like ten thousand dollar wardrobes in a plastic bag in a dumpster like uh, I found money on the street I found like you know drugs on the street like I said before um, uh, the, the other thing was uh, I also found a Bible and when I opened up the Bible I would look at the words of the Bible and uh, it would start to scramble the words when I try to focus in on it and look at it, it the words would scramble and um, basically become completely uh, like different they, they, the words would start talking about how there was a there's a dark entity out there that's trying to keep the, this knowledge fr uh, from uh, fr from me to see it, and uh, basically uh, that I uh, I am I'm chosen and uh, I'm special and that uh, I'm I'm the, I'm the one or whatever and that that, I, that I'm that I'm supposed to carry out these uh, these missions that um the, the this Bible is going to instruct to me and that this uh, this Bible is the Word of God and um, basically I have a direct link to the 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 Lord as long as uh, I keep this Bible with me and when I'd ever I'd read it 
the words would always scramble and tell me like weird things and like uh Oh, it was just nuts, and like uh, I'd read little chapters and uh, little little paragraphs, and it, and it, like uh, the words would have to do with what I was doing that day, or like uh, like something that I'd seen that day. It was crazy, like uh, how it was so seamless. Like grandiose delusion is seamless with your reality. It fucking it's it's a delusion that like uh, whatever is happening in your delusion, you don't know that you're delusional. You think it's real, so fucking you you go along with it. Like fucking you you believe it full force. Like it's it's gonna take you and you're gonna slip into it and fucking no matter what no matter how strong you are in the mind fucking you will fucking believe that you are the son of god or you are you are the, this person or whatever fucking there's there's no like you can't do anything about it uh fucking being delusionally crazy and on the streets wasn't all that bad though fucking i i, I got into like a lot of trouble like uh like once my guitar and p g keyboard got stolen I ended up having to resort to stealing from 7-Elevens and fucking, you know, like, uh, like, uh, you, like basically uh, doing stuff like that to uh, support my drug habit. And um, so, uh, you know, I'd go running into a 7-Eleven, fucking kick it, kick open the door and fucking they'd be like, hey, hey, you get the fuck out of there. And fucking I just go grab like a basket of ice cream fucking uh, bars or fucking I grab like two cases of monster drinks and fucking just book it out, uh, on out of the store and they'd be like, no. And I'd be like, yes, like fucking, I'm gonna score some more drugs. And fucking, then I'd shoot up, and then fucking, then I'd start talking to God again. And fucking, oh, it was just, just absolutely, just fucking unbelievable. It was just nuts. Fucking crystal meth and heroin is one fucking, one hell of a combo. And fucking, uh, it, it'll make you fucking just go crazy. But uh, anyhow, uh, it wasn't all bad. Like, if I could, I ended up finding this, this one chick that was uh, shooting up some speed over by the Science World Sky, Sky Train Station. And fucking, there was a day that was morning as fucking hell. And uh, I ended up fucking saying to her, fucking, uh, hey, are you doing some speed? And she's like, yeah, I'm doing some speed. Like, you want some speed? I said, yeah, I want some speed. So fucking, we both do a shot to speed. And then next, you know, I put the moves on her. I said, hey, baby, fucking, what if we were like two wolves? And then fucking, I bit her on the neck. And then fucking, she got on top of me and fucking, we started dry humping. And then next, you know, I, uh, I take her over to this like fucking this uh, this vent thing with a fence around it and we fucking go in there and fucking we just start fucking like animals it was just nuts because fucking the best thing about being crazy is that you get crazy good in bed so fucking it was pretty damn good fucking it was just just amazing but uh, I ended up thinking afterwards that fucking she was some kind of like she devil or whatever fucking that gave me herpes or something like that and fucking I thought that I had to fucking uh, uh, wash myself down with beer fucking in the in the street fucking like, this this my crazy thoughts were fucking making me think this and fucking uh, I almost did it but uh like it's just amazing to think that uh you know like uh, grandiose is mainly caused by frontal lesions to the to the frontal cortex or frontal lobe I believe and uh, these these little incisions these little cuts that happen will make you believe that you are this this certain prophet or that you are this certain special person that has a certain power and ability to uh, basically look at their environment, like uh, this is how you talk to God. Basically, you talk to God through all five of your senses. Basically, eyesight, fucking uh, smell, fucking uh, your tongue, your fucking your, your taste, your, uh, your your hearing, your your feeling. It's all taking in information, like fucking like Morse code, and fucking you're taking information from your smell. You're taking in information from your sight. It's like all five senses at once, fucking take in information. And you get a very powerful message from God, and then basically, um, you uh, you watch your environment, and your environment speaks to you, and uh, it'll tell you things that uh, you know, like <laughs> normal people don't pick up on, and fucking uh, that's like the the voice of God is all around you at all times, and can be picked up on once you fucking get into that mind state. But um, when, like when, unless you're in that mind state, then fucking you're just a normal fucking person, just fucking uh, ob oblivious to fucking the the beauty that's going on around them at all times. But um, this is my fucking uh, experience with schizophrenia and grandiose t delusional disorder. And fucking, uh, I hope you enjoyed fucking uh, a little bit of insight on what it's like to be fucking schizophrenic and fucking grandiose.